let's get on to this. How great was DC Fandom? Okay, now what I'll show you is I went to HMV. Well, no, I didn't go to HMV. I went to the to the website. Okay, and here I'll put this up. Uh, where is it? Where is it? And here we have basically it says DC fandom 20% off DC uh, 4K Ultra HD Blu ray and DVD. You just use the code, but of course, you probably have to sign up for HMV now. HMV is physical media. And that's what I've, and if you've followed me for so many years, uh, which I doubt, you know I'm passionate about physical media and how important it is to keep this stuff going. So the fact that a store in the UK, HMV, is doing deals, I myself couldn't resist. I put in the code, you know, I've got 20% off and I managed to get uh, Doom Patrol Season 1 still to watch, I haven't seen any of that I'm anxious. Uh, and the, the Deathstroke movie so it's 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 weird how a, an online thing has has uh, inspired a store they're all jumping on the bandwagon and why would they be inspired by this DC fandom well let's see uh, DC fandom generates uh, massive 22 million global 150 million uh, views of trailer content launched from the event and dominated YouTube and Twitter trends okay and this is from uh, the rap DC fandom Warner Brothers Comic Con alternative garn uh, garnered 22 million global views uh, from over 220 countries and territories in 24 hours via their player influencer live streams and user generated content created by fans watching the event the company announced on Wednesday. Additionally, 150 million views of trailer content launched from the event dominated YouTube and Twitter trends during the broad broadcast DC fandom which covered the upcoming slate of Warner Media films. Television shows, games, publishing and consumer products trended in 82 markets on YouTube and 53 markets on Twitter. Global fan reactions were overwhelmingly positive. 99 positive social sentiment. Lisa uh, Gregorian Warner Brothers Television Group Chief Marketing Officer and Blair Rich, President of Worldwide Marketing at Warner Brothers, uh, originated the idea together for DC Fandom and discussed with the rap how it came about. The concept originally because we knew that Comic Con was going to get cancelled and we really were working on some other stuff together and said, wouldn't it be amazing if we created a fan centric event? that was a global and worked together across our divisions and other divisions to make this happen, said Gregorian. Productions were shut down and literally like many parts of the world, we were shut down at the company as well. Blair and I were having these conversations and along with hundreds of employees who were working from home, who were meeting for the first time virtually and collectively working with one another during the entire summer putting this project together. We had a couple of mission, uh, missions, things in mind, as we built that we were North Stars and we never wavered from Rich, said number one. It had to be the fans, by the fans, about the fans, and be completely fan-centric. And anything that wavered from that was not allowed. We wanted it to be accessible, that's why it was for free. It was a global event, translated into nine languages, and we wanted it to feel like a major moment. One of the things that we had observed 
uh, and a lot of virtual experiences uh, that Lisa and I have had thus far is that they felt kind of very flat and not immersive, Richard. So we wanted to feel like a fully realised space and that you and that's where you see the depth and dimension and the volume. We wanted it to feel like the people were together. We didn't want it to feel just like a bunch of Zoom calls put together. That was, that was really important to us. Uh, and to be honest, it was fantastic. It was emotional. I've never felt such warmth from the fan. And can I just show you something? Look at Lois. Hello. Hello. Hopefully you saw my cat there. Um, it was it was fantastic, and I've been talking my ass off to people in my work. I've been coming in and saying, "Hello, you are my brothers." Uh, I, I have put together a box with a DVD of BVS and Man of Steel. For those who have, have no idea what I'm talking about, they're going home with a copy. Um, so yeah, it's uh, and everyone I've spoke to that saw the Justice League thought it was brilliant. Thought it was yeah, totally different. People were looking forward to it, and I kept and people were interested in this DC uh, fandom. Uh, I believe they should do it again. Um, it was definitely something to, and I know the, somewhere down the line, I don't know, other other companies will jump on board and and want to be uh, either do something for themselves or try to join DC in the next coming years because it was. It, it covered a lot, it really did, and uh, the fact that it reached so many millions, I mean, here we go, we will go back up to the top, and we see, generates a massive 22 million global views, 150 million views of trailer content, uh, 22 million global views for over 220 countries and territories in 24 hours, uh, additional 150 million views of trailer content uh, and the most important thing is, is uh, it, it, uh, during the broadcast DC fandom which covered the upcoming slate of Warner Media films, television shows, games, publishing and consumer, consumer products trended in 82 markets on YouTube and 53 markets on Twitter global fan reactions were overwhelmingly positive 99 percent positive sentiment so the word is out i believe the, the major attraction to that was of course Zack snyder putting together um, all these bits talking to fans getting the the movement to advertise dc fandom we had that justice con beforehand uh and it's it, this is a great way for for a uh, dc going forward and I came across this excellent clip that I will leave you with. Uh, if I can find it. It's from... Who's, who's the person that's doing it? Uh, Krypton Codex. Okay. I think this is a brilliant video. Uh, and so please uh, probably subscribe to him. I think, it's, I think it's funny, I think it's smart. Here we go. No, that's my cat again. Let's see. Oh, do, 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 do. someone else you know you can't go like i think people would like this there's a good chance that that's a huge disaster what's up with the reshoot um they've been brief if anything i mean josh is a great guy Zach picked a good person to come in up and finish up for him
guys, get out there, see it. I think you're really gonna like it, like a lot. How many scenes did you shoot with the mustache? Um, I, I can't really talk about that okay. for fear of... All right, yeah, sure, sure. I and mean, obviously Zach Snyder, our director. Danny Elfman's orchestration was one of the best parts of Justice League. With clever nods to the score from Batman 89. Zach's film, he shot everything that he wanted to shoot. I mean, it's not a matter of whether or not it exists. It's a matter of whether or not you know, we see it. understand how what's the benefit of superman try and make the movie weird the camera's constantly vibrating i mean it's insane he is uh frightening <laughs> okay okay let's try it one more time let's take another look at it okay you can't do that um because you'll just you can't you're really not interested in filmmaker movies you're interested in movies by committee Chris, he was awesome, and it was super fun to work with him. It's pretty stupid. Well, huge disaster. Are you serious? How are you going to make that happen? The script in this movie. This shit. Well, I don't know. It doesn't matter. You just fucking make your movie. No, no, sorry. So I haven't seen the movie yet, so I keep forgetting. <laughs> that, that's not really... The, the canon over time, you'll see that it has to with my way of doing it. What the... Are you talking about? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I will hurt you. I'm fucking fantastic. This fucking movie... Someone get this guy out of here. You can only make a movie hoping that it works out and that it's okay and that everyone, you know, kind of likes it. I don't know what the hell you guys are doing. Trevor Peters? Okay. No. We are not enough. Clearly. Do you have a sense of confidence that you are not going to do harm to Paul and his cause? No. What the fuck? Wake the fuck up! Uh, no. Whatever that is. I'm fed up with the fucking score. He's gonna fuck you over. But they didn't do this. That's awesome. Isn't it? You can't touch that. No, no. Wow. Um, no, by no means did we mean this. That's all I have to say about that. That's crazy. I'm not someone who can stop you. That, I mean, I that, that is good. I'll put a link at the bottom of the video. But I think um, what moved me the most... No, no, no. Was the reaction to disaster? What's up with to the these? actors? Um, they've been brief, if anything. I mean, Josh is a great guy. Zach picked a good person to come in up and finish up for. Like it, like a lot. 
How many scenes did you shoot with the mustache? Um, I, I can't really talk about that. Okay. The fear of... All right, yeah, sure, sure. And then obviously Zach Snyder, our director. Danny Elfman's orchestration was one of the best parts of Justice League. With clever nods to the score from Batman 89. Zach... I'm upset. Do you see?